What's up, Aries? It's the soul. Aries, we're going to take a look at some energies for you this upcoming week, starting March 7th, ending March 13th, 2022. The messages will be for Aries Sun, Moon, Aries Rising, Singles, Couples, Aries into Same Sex Energies. Aries, I hope all is well. So uh, we're going to uh, start your messages off uh, with the secret language of color cards. This is your Oracle message. Uh, I will go to the textbook, uh, but there is some, you know, information written on the uh, front of the card. But I think, you know, it goes a little bit in depth with the uh, meaning of whatever, you know, whatever card is selected for you. All right. So sit back, relax. Uh, and then, you know, your regular reading I'm going to do uh, using the uh, Light Sears Tarot deck. I did reverse some cards. Uh, Pisces had one reversal and it was your actually your own energy it was the emperor so i know that um is in reverse but i don't think they received any other reversal cards and i don't know what the other ones were all right so let's select the card here for you um aries just to see what's going on here the message that you need to know uh for singles uh couples suns moons um rising same sex energy the card that was selected for you is a uh, gray and it says, learn to scan your body. Learn to scan your body. So let's see what that message says uh, in the uh, textbook here. Learn to scan your body. All right, so gray identifies blockages in your body or aura, providing information about your mental, emotional, and physical state. Use gray to give you an alternative point of view and provide you with strength when dealing with challenging situations that you feel are hopeless. The gray ray is a magnifying glass to blocked areas in your body. All right, so that's a powerful message uh, for you, Aries. I hope that is uh, helpful and beneficial. All right, so let's move on to your uh, general reading here using the Light Sears Tarot deck like I mentioned before. And, um, yeah, there are some reversals. So I'm doing a little, something a little different here. You know, I only, uh, in the past, have chosen five cards. So I'll just select ten cards, uh, Aries, just to give you more information, okay? And then still doing the shadow. All right, so messages for Aries, suns, moons, risings. What are the messages for Aries this upcoming week, spirit? All right, Aries, we're going to start off with your first energy, and that is of the Six of Wands. So this is your own energy. This is a card of victory and success. It also is a card that, you know, always represents traveling for me. So you might, uh, guys might be traveling this upcoming week. It could be short distance, long distance. It could be work-related. It could be just taking time out, vacationing or whatever. Uh, either, you know, solo or with your significant other. It could be a family trip. Um, but whatever it is uh, that's going on for you this upcoming week, you are almost guaranteed some sort of uh, success and victory, okay? Something victorious. It may be, you know, something work-related, like projects or something that you were working on. It could be even your relationships that you have uh, in connection with other people. So that Six of Wands is representing your energy, Aries, uh, Leo and Sagittarius what's in your shadow is the strength card which showed up for Pisces and the strength card is also part of your energies uh, specifically Leo so the strength card being that it's in your shadow is definitely going to be uh, the energy that expresses itself um, with the rest of the cards that are going to be revealed for you there's no standing in your way here Pisces I mean uh, Aries I'm sorry got stuck on Pisces there for a minute there's no Standing in your way, you're owning your own power, you're feeling powerful, you're feeling, you know, magnetic, you're feeling just super, okay, super. This is a card of sexual energy, sexual expression, as I always say, it's a card of great passion. So whatever it is that you are passionate about this upcoming week, you know, it may be something that is uh, going to be on display, okay, that could be your relationships, that could be your work, your, um, you know, your family, whatever that energy is, so, but anything that may come along um, that you might feel that is sort of like uh, stopping you. And remember the gray message as well, you know, about those blockages and whatnot. You want to see your way through, okay? Because you have the strength here in support of you. All right, so what's crossing that six of wands here for you, Aries, is the uh, king of wands, more of your energy, okay? So king of wands is also the type of energy where the king is a court card. He's focused. It could, you know, the roles could interchange. It could be a female, but the king is always focused on something, always focused on 
uh, something in particular and they, you know, keep that focus and they go after what it is that they are focused on. And that's no different from you. Now, the King of Wands is also a card that's just like the Strength card, a card of very intense passion. Uh, it could be sexual energy, sexual expression. Uh, whatever's going on for you guys this upcoming week, I just feel a lot of intensity and a lot of passion, okay? But in a good way. So however that energy opens up for you, um, I hope it is, you know, something that uh, happens for you in a good way. King of Wands. And because it's in your immediate environment as well, then you're focused on something this upcoming week. Now, attach that energy to, you know, whatever it is. All right. Following the King of Wands here, now we have the uh, Page of Swords. OK, so somebody in Page of Swords, no matter what deck I'm reading, is uh, someone, you know, could be spying on you. Uh, Aries, uh, not necessarily in a, you know, mischievous way. Someone could just be, you know, looking up following you on social media. This is a card of news. So there could be some news coming in uh, for you guys. This is about new conversations. So you're going to be entered into having new conversations. And look, it's a court card that follows the other court card that's in your immediate environment. So I feel that when it comes to uh, Aries who may be single, it may be uh, new conversations related to a new relationship. Just like the Knight of Wands that showed up for uh, Pisces in their shadow, this is the rapidness of how that energy may uh, proceed, you know, in terms of connecting uh, with new friends, connecting with romantic, um, you know, partnerships if you're single, um, but not leaving the Aries who are already in relationships out because this energy still will go and be expressed uh, for you, being that, you know, there's this, you know, intensity, there's this passion, things may be heating up for you in a good way uh, relative to, you know, your uh, romantic relationships. It could be your family. It could be your friendships. So new conversations, spying. Um, this is a, a still part of action and decision making. So it may be new uh, decisions or new actions that you take uh, re relative to something that uh, is going to occur for you this upcoming week. But so far, so good. Following the uh, page of swords that uh, represents air, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Now we have the nine of pentacles. OK, so this is uh, a very good card to receive. So it's like almost paying yourself back for all the hard work and efforts that you put into a situation. Now, for some of you, it might be work related. So it could come in through uh, someone can still, you know, be getting a job and uh, getting boosted in terms of their salary. It also could be that you are, um, you know, uh, put in so much effort and hard work uh, outside of the job and it was attached to your relationships, you know, your family, your um, friendships, your uh, romantic partnerships. It also could indicate to Aries that uh, it's a time for you to pay yourself back for putting in all of that hard work and effort into whatever it is that you put your hard work and effort into. All right. So you might be uh, dipping into some areas might be dipping into their savings, their 401k, their, their retirement, bringing that money out to purchase something uh, for themselves. It's usually uh, big ticket items or purchases and whatnot that I usually get with the nine of pentacles. And you're not to feel guilty about it, you know, because you are someone who is deserving of having to put in all of that work for whatever energy that you put that effort into. OK, nine of pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. So uh, the fifth card here is the Knight of Swords. This is an action card, just like that page of swords. So whatever it is. Uh, areas that you're about to do, you're very determined and you're very decisive to see it through. OK, this is still the knight in shining armor. Now, when it comes to romantic partnerships, there may be a new connection, but it also could be a new connection when it comes to friendships as well. This person is very decisive, very determined. Um, but it just may be the energy is being expressed from this card going on to you. And then you're doing all of that you know, decision making, and then it's based through, you know, with a lot of determination and action. This is definitely action. Okay. Taking action for something. All right. Following the Knight of Swords that again represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now we have the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords, just like the Six of Wands is like traveling. It's removing yourself or, you know, not removing yourself, but 
energy that may have been stressful for you is, is moving away from you and now you're moving into clearer karma passages. Whenever I get to Six of Swords, that means a physical move. So there could be some areas who are physically moving to a different area, to a different residence. So that could be a possibility as well. If it is involving traveling, like I said, with Six of Wands, short passage, I'm sorry, it could be um, a short trip, a long trip, Safe passage to, safe passage from. That's what I meant to say. Okay, I got tongue-tied with my words. Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, so things are looking good here, Aries. Let's keep it going. Now we have the, okay, now we have the Ace of Cups. This is one of those reverse cards. Ace of Cups is in the reverse, just to show you what this card looks like in the upright Aries. Ace of Cups is about emotions, emotions overflowing. So the cup is turned, so emotions are overflowing. Be careful, uh, Aries, when it comes to, and, and we're talking about relationships um, of all kinds. So romantic, platonic, family, there may be something going on here related to those situations. It all depends on you and what's going on with you. But the cup overfloweth when that Ace of Cups is in the reverse. The good thing about this Ace of Cups, even though it's more positive when it's in the upright, it's still positive when it shows up here in the reverse because whatever is going on uh, on an emotional level attached to your relationships is on a temporary basis and um, those things are, are still forthcoming. So it could be that there were, uh, is a, a relationship that's on hold. There's a delay in a relationship. It may have something to do with the Six of Swords. Maybe there's distance between you. You haven't, you know, you met somebody online or something like that, but you have yet to meet each other. So that's what it means. I don't want you to walk away from this thinking that this is a negative, you know, sign. No, this is not negative. It just means that cup overflowing and the emotions just haven't been met yet in a good way, but they will be eventually. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents that Ace of Cups. Following the Ace of Cups, now we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Inheritance card. This is the Abundance card. This is the card of wealth, all right? So any Aries out there who like to gamble, just gamble responsibly. This is usually big hits, big wins, and big scratch-offs, paying the Powerball, whatever you, uh, you know, find to your liking in terms of money and gambling. Somebody could be uh, getting an inheritance. If it is the absence of money, then it's just you feeling abundant about everything that is going on in your life. You can see that this picture here, it's like a family circle. You know, you have the dog, you have the, you know, husband, the wife, and you got the children just playing with each other. So you might just feel abundant that all of your needs and all of your wants are being met through a connection such as your family, or it could be your know, romantic partnerships or your friendships. This could still indicate uh, someone getting a job and then moving into a higher paying position, managerial, supervisory. It doesn't really matter. Ten of Pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Up next here, we now have the major arcana, the hangman. Yeah, that is the hangman. The hangman. So this hangman, in, in terms of energy, is, you know, things in the balance, hanging on the fence. Well, if that applies to you, use it. But I usually pick up that whatever it is that's going on with you, when it's, especially because we have the uh, Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords here in terms of um, making decisions and actions, uh, Aries, you have all the time in the world to make those moves, okay? There's no rush for you to do that. Now, if this has shown up here in the reverse, then I would have had a completely different message by saying, okay, Aries, you have given it some long long thoughts about what you're going to do next. Now it's time for you to make that move. Here, it's just that you're still con in contemplation, uh, not necessarily ready to make that move. Uh, maybe not just yet, but you have the time to do it. There's nothing that you need to rush yourself for. And that's all I see coming out of the uh, Hangman Major Arcana. Final card for you in this reading, Aries, is the Ace of Wands. So two aces in a reading, doesn't matter if that Ace of Cups is reversed or not, is an auspicious energy. This is a card of inspiration. This is a card of good news. This is a card of surprises. Uh, this is a card of, you know, some of you may be starting new hobbies or new interests. Uh, could be expanding your creative juices, you know, in terms of being artists, singers, dancers, whatever you can attach that energy to when it comes to the Ace of Wands. Being very, very passionate also about whatever it is that you're doing. It may be for those areas who are already into, you know, uh, their favorite hobbies 
or their favorite, you know, passion and whatnot. And this is just an expansion of that energy that you are uh, enjoying what you're doing and you're very, very passionate about that. Okay. Ace of Wands represents uh, your energy, of course, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So I actually like this reading for you guys. Uh, hopefully, you know, the energy opens up for you. If it doesn't resonate for you, you know, I always tell you guys just to walk away from it, leave it alone. But I do feel that this is uh, some great energy to at least start the week off with. All right. So this is what I have for you, Aries. Um, if nothing else, keep that big smile on your face and I will talk to you soon. Bye.